Solve for a such that the third cube of a plus three minus square root of a minus one equals zero. What shall we do now? Of course, we see that we have zero on the right hand side, so we can bring this term, this square root, to the right hand side. So we get the cube root of three plus a plus three equals square root of a minus one. Then what shall we do? Now we can see the left hand side is a cube root and the right hand side is a square root. So now we can raise the both sides to the power of six. Now you can see on the right hand side we have a plus three all squared equals a minus one or cubed. Very good. Now we have a squared plus six a plus nine equals here we have a cubed minus three a squared plus 3a minus 1. Now, it is equivalent to a cubed minus 4a squared and then minus 3a minus 10 equals 0. Now what we are going to do is to examine the rational root. If we have a rational root, for example, p over q, then According to the rational root theorem, p has to be a divisor of negative 10 and q a divisor of the coefficient of a cubed, which is 1. So the rational roots may be positive or negative 1, positive, negative 2, positive, negative 5, positive, negative 10. And you can find out that a equals 5 is a root. So that means the left hand side has a factor a minus 5. And now we want to factorize the left hand side completely. Of course, you can use the long division, but we can also do it in this way. Look, I will write a cubed minus 4 times a squared as a cubed minus 5 times a squared. Then I will add an a squared, then subtract a 5a from it. Because we have negative a, negative 3a in our this equation, so we have to add 2a, and now you can see we have negative 10. What will happen is from these three sections, we can take, take out a squared, a, and 2. And here we get a squared times a minus 5, a times a minus 5, 2 times a minus 5 equals 0. So it is a minus 5 times a squared plus a plus 2 equals 0. So I have two possibilities. If a minus 5 equals 0, which means a equals 5, we can get... Yes, a is just equal to 5. If we check this root, we get 2 minus 2 equals 0. So, perfect. In our second case, we get a squared plus a plus 2 equals 0. And in this case, you can see that the delta is b squared minus 4ac, 1 minus 8, which is less than 0. So there isn't any real solution. There are only two imaginary solutions. If, if you're interested in these two solutions, you can solve for them yourself. To get it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.